Did you know? In some Asian cultures, it's tradition to remove your shoes before committing suicide. This is because taking off your shoes represents crossing a threshold or stepping out of this life and stepping in to the next. It's also a way to communicate the fact that your death wasn't an accident or a murder. So, if you wanted to kill someone by pushing them off a roof, but you wanted to make it look like a suicide, you'd have to remove their shoes before they fell to their death. But how would you do that? Today, that's what I'm going to show you. In order to demonstrate this feature, we're going to need a rival. Let's pretend that this girl is our rival. In Yandere Simulator, new gameplay options become available to you if you stalk your rival and eavesdrop on her conversations to learn her secrets and weaknesses. Let's follow this girl and see what we can learn about her. You haven't been acting like your usual self lately. Is something bothering you? Oh, well, it's nothing. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. But remember, I'm your friend and I'd never judge you for anything. I guess there's one thing I want to talk about. I'm listening. Ever since my mom died, my dad's been drinking a lot. Sometimes when he's drunk, he comes into my room and... <sighs> Forget I said anything. I really, really don't want to talk about it. What? That sounds really serious. What does your dad do? Look. I said I don't want to talk about it. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have anything to be ashamed of. Just tell me what's wrong. I'm not gonna say anything else. Please, just drop it. <sighs> if you say so. But now I'm really worried. It sounds like this poor girl is being abused by her father. This is tragic news, but it's also information that can be very useful for us. In Yandere Simulator, it's possible to leave a note in a student's locker. You can use notes to trick a student into waiting in a certain place at a certain time. A student will only care about your note if you mention something that is relevant to them. In this case, I'm going to tell this girl that I want to talk to her about domestic abuse. I'm going to ask her to meet me on the school rooftop at 4 p.m. She's late. Where is she? I could have been stalking Senpai. If she doesn't show up right now... Oh, there she is! All right. In a few moments, she's going to be standing right where we want her. All we have to do is sneak up without her noticing and... <laughs> did you see what Yandere-chan did there? She grabbed the girl by her shoes, tilted her over the railing, and ripped the shoes off her feet. As a result, Yandere-chan gets to place the girl's shoes where she was standing before she <clears throat> fell, causing this murder to look like a suicide. If you don't disturb the body and don't commit any other crimes, then when the police arrive, they won't be able to prove that the girl's death was a murder, and they will conclude that it was a suicide. If someone discovers a body that was pushed from the school rooftop, the school will realize how dangerous the rooftop is and will install a chain-link fence so that no other students can fall or jump from the roof. You can use the roof to eliminate as many students as you'd like, but if a police investigation concludes that a student was killed by falling from the roof, the chain-link fence will go up. There may be other ways in which the school can change permanently as a result of your actions. If you put enough points into the language skill, you will gain the ability to forge a suicide note. 
If you push a girl off the rooftop and don't leave a note, then her death is considered to be a mystery. However, if you stalked the girl enough to learn at least one reason why she might commit suicide, and your language skill is high enough, you can write a convincing suicide note so that there is no mystery surrounding her death. Right about now, you might be wondering, why the heck do I care if a girl's death is considered a mystery? How does that affect gameplay at all? Well, I'll tell you. It's called... School Atmosphere. When the game first begins, the school atmosphere will be bright and cheerful, like a happy-go-lucky slice-of-life anime. However, if students begin to discover bloodstains, corpses, or unexplained suicides, then the school atmosphere will begin to drop. If you kill so many students that it becomes obvious that a serial killer is on the loose, then the school atmosphere will become extremely dark and ominous to reflect the fear and paranoia that the students are feeling. Students' line of sight will increase. It will become more difficult to sneak up on students. They will react faster, and they will get scared more easily because they are in constant fear of their lives. If students see you looking dangerous, your reputation will drop harshly. To restore school atmosphere back to normal, you must avoid doing anything that would cause fear or paranoia for several days. After a week of peace, the school will return to normal. You can also frame another student for your crimes, which will cause students to stop being paranoid because they think that the serial killer has been caught. At its lowest point, the school atmosphere can resemble a horror game. After all, at its core, Yandere Simulator is a horror game, where you are the monster. Yeah. <laughs>